Today we're going to talk about how you can bootstrap your blockchain career guys. And so this question comes from a person named Halward and he left a comment on my previous video about blockchains where I explain how blockchains work. And so he writes, if I wanted to change careers and start working with blockchain technology, where should I start? So that's the first part of his question. And the second part is, do you see companies needing blockchain experts in the future? Or will they basically use people who know JavaScript and other program programming languages? So let's start about uh, let, let's start with the first part, guys. And the first part is uh, how can I start working with blockchain technology? So I would say there are two paths you can take. The first path is to become a engineer in this field. So the first path is more a technical path. And this is a path where you, if you want to develop smart contracts, if you want to write code that gets executed on the blockchain, and you want to build the software that, uh, that runs on the blockchain. Uh, so that is the first path. And if you like this path, if you think that you would uh, enjoy writing software, uh, then I would say you should start uh, uh, learning the usual programming languages, for example, Java or Python or JavaScript, because there are so much material and so much help to get when you are learning a normal uh, programming language. And once you know Java or you know Python, then I think you can start with Solidity, which is the language that is used on Ethereum blockchain. Because if you go ahead and start with Solidity right away, I think it will be hard for you to find tutorials, to find books and to find the mentors who can help you learning Solidity. However, with Java and Python and all of these languages, there's just so much information on YouTube, in books, in blog posts. Uh, and it's uh, really easy to learn uh, a language like Java uh, compared to a language like Solidity. Uh, but once you've learned Java, I think it will be no problem for you at all to learn Solidity. It's just to get you started as a software developer. I think you need to learn a, a conventional programming language and then go to a uh, blockchain programming language such as Solidity. So if you want to go uh, and follow this technical path, this is how I would do it. I would start with a normal language and then go to Solidity. And so the second path is an educational path where you educate businesses and organizations today about blockchain because the majority of the population don't even know what blockchain is, how it works. And a lot of businesses will go out of business if they don't switch to blockchain and if they don't start thinking in terms of the blockchain. And if they don't realize the possibilities that blockchain has and how they can use it and how they can apply those decentralized uh, uh, principles in their business. So that could also be a way to get your foot in the field of blockchain. You could, for example, uh, create a website for yourself where you advertise yourself as a blockchain expert and then you call uh, cold call some companies and uh, offer a, a talk where you can uh, educate them about blockchain because I think many people have heard about blockchain but they are not really sure how it works and uh, no one really explained it to them. So if you can approach your local banks or local uh, government institution and institutions and tell them that blockchain is going to change how we do business, how governments operate and uh, offer them to to educate them uh, and see if they are interested. That could be a way to get some traction, to get some experience in the field. So these are two ways. Either you can become a, a blockchain engineer or a blockchain educator or a blockchain guru, so to speak, but maybe you don't really know how to program the blockchain, but you don't really need it. Uh, if you're going to take the second path where you educate people, you don't really need uh, to know how to program the uh, smart contracts and the software. You just need, you, you need to have a, 
a higher level picture. You need to have a higher level view on, on the whole ecosystem and how blockchain will affect the society, businesses, organizations, governments, and explain it to people. Become the go-to guy for blockchain in your local city. That could be a way to start. And so the second part of the question is, do you see companies needing blockchain experts in the future? Or will they basically be using people who know JavaScript and other programming languages? And I would say, uh, many many programmers will will become those blockchain developers because if you know javascript it's very easy for you to learn solidity so i would say it's almost it's almost the same type of people it's developers uh, that will be developing blockchain smart contracts because there is actually not a big difference between writing a a web application and thinking in terms of blockchain. I mean, there is there is a difference, of course, but if you know how to write websites and you know how to write client server applications, I think if you spend a week or a month with uh, Ethereum and you learn how blockchain works, work how how uh, how they uh, the principles behind blockchain, I think it will be no problem for you at all to just go from JavaScript to Solidity and start developing contracts. So I would say, yes, companies will need experts in the future uh, in the blockchain area. However, those experts will most likely co come from uh, software development. Uh, they will be software engineers. And now they have switched from developing uh, web applications with server client architecture. And now they switch to blockchain applications. However, you could become an expert where you don't code yourself, but you know how everything works and you can really apply blockchain principles on a business or a government or an organization. So that is what I think about the future of blockchain and how you can start working as a blockchain expert and start working with blockchain, because I think we will see an exponential develop development guys in the cup in the coming couple of years where people start adopting ethereum or bitcoin or some other new blockchain because that is also one uh, a reason guys that is also a reason why you should learn a normal programming language and understand software development at its core because if you start learning solidity i mean we have no clue if ethereum is going to be the main blockchain in 10 years it's hard to tell i mean it seems like it's going to be ethereum but it could very well be some new blockchain that will start next year we we, we don't know that however if you know uh, the basics of software development it is no problem for you. You could start developing solidity or you could pick Tell them feel this, you know, it's been no cap when I killed this. I'm better hit him with the rest that I'm here this with this what's what better be a field trip. Tell them feel this, you know, it's been no cap when I killed this. I'm better hit him with the rest that I'm here this with this what's what better be a field trip. Tell them feel this, you know, it's been no cap when I killed this. I'm better hit him with the rest that I'm here this with this what's what better be a field trip. Tell them feel this, you know, it's been no cap when I killed this. I'm better hit him with the rest that I'm here this with this what's what better be a field trip. So let him feel this, you know it's spitting no cap when I kill this I'm better hit him with the rest, let him hear this With this what's what better be a field trip yeah.